How's it going everybody? Today I want to show you guys how I like to rig one of my favorite finesse baits and it's a bait made by Huddleston. You guys know I like to throw the 6 inch huds and the 68s and the 8 inch huds, probably my favorite bait of all time. Um, but they also make a cool little bait called the uh, the Huddle Bug which is just a super hyper realistic craw bait. Um, and uh, they usually recommend you rig it nose hook style with a small like drop shot weight and they normally come with a couple weights out here. What I like to do is I buy the, the hand painted versions, I think they're like three to a pack for a couple bucks, um, instead of the pre-rigged versions and I like to rig them a little bit differently. Um, the whole like making the crawdad move forward is, is cool but I prefer it to move backwards in like a fleeing motion instead of an aggressive, you know, forward movement. So. I really wanted to find a way to rig these things from the back and be able to bring them away from the fish, essentially when the fish is looking at it. So um, I felt like it was more natural, so it took me a few weeks or whatever just thinking about it to figure out a way that I wanted to rig these baits and, uh, and really complement what I think they could potentially do. So um, what I finally did is, obviously there's jig head rigs and stuff like that, so this isn't too far out of a rigging method. Um, I like to take a, a tube hook and this one's just a small little like a 3 16th ounce tube hook and uh, it's got a bronze hook. I actually don't mind bronze hooks. Some people like them or don't like them. I kind of like them. You know as long as they're quality this is a Gamagatsu um, hook and what I like to do is rig it just like you're going to rig, rig it on a jig head. See I'm just threading it on and what I'm going to do is go in a little bit farther than I normally would um, to get it to, to sit on the keeper. And I'm gonna keep pushing it through. Push that skin up just like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a little rip there sometimes. Every once in a while you can get it in without it actually ripping. Um, and what that's gonna allow you to do is have super realistic um, and it's also gonna move backwards. As you can see, once you get it, you know, you're mended in there and it's gonna hold it all together, which I'd recommend just for durability. Um, you're gonna have super realistic everything's inside the bait all you have that's making it look unnatural is that little tiny barb out there um, <clears throat> and this thing destroys fish it's such a good bait um, <clears throat> I definitely recommend you guys should check this dude out